Live and raw, running and gunning with KG and the Ringmaster. It's the Digging with KG and Ringy Running and Gunning Podcast Show. Coming to you from the prestigious ATC Studios in beautiful downtown Burbank, California. Where we talk about treasure hunting, metal detecting, and just about everything else. Except for goat roping, corn dogs, llama farms, and unicycles. That's where we draw the line. So without further ado, here are your beloved international superstar television hosts, King George and Ringmaster Tim. Hey, Cage. Here we are. Here we are again. Hey, what's up? This number two, huh? This is kind of scary, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is really weird because, you know, we got you a... Oh, look at that. Shoot. Did you break something already? I think Come I broke on. something. How's it Are going? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, week <laughs> two of the Running and Gunning with KG and Ringy podcast. Yeah, yep. so, uh, you know, uh, once again, awesome weekend of football, right? Yeah, football was great. Except I mean, I'm not a big Brady fan, but, you know, I kind of... You know, wanted them out, but yeah, it's all right. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, that's me and my son in Soldier Field. You know, a couple of years ago when we were watching the Saints play. Obviously, obviously, was they, a couple of years they, ago they lost, and <laughs> not only did they lose, but uh, they the Saints beat them again last week. So, but this is this is this week's scores right here. I mean, I love it, Cage. Did you see any yeah. of these games? Oh, man, I watched them all. I watched Kansas City almost lose because their main quarterback got taken out with a concussion. Yeah. That was a nail-biter yeah. there, you know. Yeah. I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, you know, by heart, but now I live in Kansas, you know, and the whole wife's family. So you got to root for Kansas City, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I figured you'd get hammered for that. No, I, I figured you'd be rooting for Kansas City. I rooted for him last year in the Super Bowl. It was awesome. But this year, I got to tell you, I'm going for the Bills just because they haven't been in the playoffs forever. I mean, and, you hey, know, they've made it. Now, to how come? Now, wait a second. I'm looking at the live stream. Yeah. I, me oh, too. Wait, it's I'm all looking good. at something wrong. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I touched. I, I was watching last week's show. What'd you touch? It just, you touched something? I was watching last week's show on our Facebook page thinking <laughs> it was right now happening. So I watched you chasing a pizza in a tutu. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. I'm Yeah, okay. Well, they're... Hey, all right. you know, all right, everybody knows now. this is going to be a train wreck. So, you know, that's okay. the way it is. Hey. Train wreck. So anyway, I was just saying the Bills have been in four Super Bowls, right? And they've yep. won none of them. So how can you not root for them? You know, it's just no, I know, awesome. I know. In the I Browns, know. I mean, the yeah. Browns. Come on, I don't think they've ever won one, have they? Yeah, no, they've never even been to the Super Bowl, which is really? even crazier. Well, they're close yeah. enough. It's time for them to go back home. <laughs> no, right. I love them. As long as we're on this, I might as well move this over there. Remember when we did this? You know where I'm at and that. What stadium is that? Cage? That is the Green Bay Packers Stadium when we filmed the Pestigo Wisconsin Fire. That is correct, Amundo. Yeah, correct yeah. We Amundo. actually got to put um, three Super Bowl rings on our hands. Yeah. Uh, genuine Super Bowl rings. Yeah, that you know that was really cool, and they were so nice to us there. And I just the thing I remember most about it. It was cool going up on the roof and you know getting behind the scenes and seeing everything, but. I remember we were all trapped together in that elevator. Do you remember what I'm going to say? And like the guy from the Green Bay Packers, he's got a Super Bowl ring and everything. And he's asking oh. us all like, hey, you know, everybody's got their favorite team, you know, and, uh, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, KG's a Cowboy fan and everything. And then everybody went through it. And then everybody just turns and looks at me. And I'm just like quiet in the back corner, you know, because I'm a Bears fan. And I'm in Lambeau Field, you know. And, and the guy was real nice about it. He's like, oh, no, no, no. It's okay. We got a lot of Bears fans coming in here that are yeah, kind of yeah. root for and the and Packers. Well, another too. funny thing is everybody that knows us know how much we like to throw our tokens around. We're always mm. whipping our tokens all over the place. Well, we actually hid a couple tokens on Lambeau Field, didn't we? Oh, we did. Yeah, I Maybe definitely admit did. that. But yeah, some of them fell like out of my pocket in a yeah. crevice somewhere. I think they're still probably there. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Aaron Rodgers probably picked them up. Hey, as long as so anyway, it was a great weekend of football and all that. But what's the big story? 
We're going here, Cage, right? To uh, Florida, Florida yes. next month. Yes, Florida Hunt 7. Florida Hunt 7. That is going to be a blast. And I know people have been signing up for this like crazy. A lot of rooms are getting taken up. So people might have yeah, to stay a little ways away from the event and drive. But it's, it's a worth, I mean, it, you have to go to it. If yeah. you're around or you're not around, you got to go to it. I mean, if nothing else, you know, to see me. <laughs> yeah, really that's green. a good reason to stay away. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, right. yeah, we're going to, we're going to be there. I know that, uh, Gary and some of the guys have set up a bunch of stuff and I know that, uh, we're going to, by the time we get there, our running and gun shirts will be out. So we'll bring some of those with us. And yeah, those guys down there are already taking like pre-orders and stuff for this, but he's got some really cool patch that he designed down there specifically for this Florida hunt. So if you guys want any of that, you can go find it at the FH7 um, Facebook page, I think. I think that's where all that stuff is, but, you know, you can find it. Right. Yeah. Right. It's going to be cool. Either that or call Mark Hoover directly. and <laughs> Yeah, call and him up. He'll tell yeah. you about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to – quick, I got to say a couple things. Um, thanks to Chris Altman. He, I got this today. It showed up today. It's his new version, like the fifth edition or something of this from the ground up book. It's really awesome. If you haven't seen this, it's like full color awesomeness in here. Of course, I'm messing this up. Yeah. But it's a really cool book about metal detecting. We've given a couple away on our prize packages and stuff. So if you want to get it, it's like out on the internet at whatever, www.fromthegroundup.shop. So if you want to get one, I'm serious. It's a really cool book. And KG, I noticed that we were in this book. So that makes it even better, this version. There's a picture of us. <laughs> right. I've been tearing that, I was that, serious. Uh, that page out, taking it to the outhouse, <laughs> cleaning off with it. First page. First page <laughs> being used. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what? On, on here, you're uh, – I'm on the big screen and uh, I think you should be on the big screen because I'm obviously got a little oh, bit of a delay Oh, you've still got some here. of that delay and stuff going on? All right. Yeah, well, there, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. There I am. Check yeah, this there, out. Maybe, I got but, this mail too. Eureka Treasure Hunters Club. It just showed up on blue. No explanation or anything. Awesome. Patch. And it just just showed up. Cage. It looks like I got some, I got some more showed up. awesome so, collectibles. And I don't know. Did you? Anything? I don't want to tell you what I got because then you'll really be mad. So I <laughs> anyway, get all the cool stuff. I had to say thank you for that. I'm just going through this little bit of business stuff here. Um, what else we got before we get rolling and bring in our guest, our awesome super guest? Awesome. Super Cage, what about you? I know you did something. Star. You did something this weekend. Made me jealous. Let's see oh, if I can find yeah, that. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. I went to Fort Scott, Kansas, and met up with Brian Stewart and uh, Shane Doherty and Rick Graff. And I'm probably saying their names wrong. I actually wrote them down here. Jeremy <laughs> Riley, Robbie Baker. We all went out and we tore it up. I mean, I mean, it was a massive, massive field. But I ended up pulling out a dragoon button. I, I, I guess the dragoons were were there, but they're super rare and hard to find dragoon buttons. Oh, the D Kansas. buttons? I yeah. In Texas, they find a lot of them. Yeah, I so saw that a general service button. Yeah, I saw that in the picture, but I didn't. You were the one that found it. You were just of showing I, off, yeah, weren't you? <laughs> well, I was trying not to show off, so I just wanted to, you know, do a little shout out to the boys, yeah. you know, for letting me hang out with them. And then we had these ginormous sandwiches, you know. Shane brought out his wife, came out with the kids. They, you know, they stole one of my apexes and went out in the field, and she found her first two civil war bullets with it so oh, i think she's really? hooked now that yep. is pretty freaking awesome and uh yep. yeah that is really cool um i'm gonna i think we should bring in gyps nobody wants to hear us just talk about nothing oh, there's six bring gyps in yeah should let's bring, bring in out a real uh, actor not a couple of washed up ones yeah yeah all right oh hey speaking of that i might as well i'll read her little guest i'll read it after she gets on because it's it's so accurate. Yeah, and then you can see her reaction and she's squirming go. around yeah. going on. Today's guest. This isn't our guest yet, but we're, we're having dream issues, Cage. It's dropping off right now. I can see it. Is she oh, in everyone? here? 
Gypsy. Hi, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, she's sideways. Hi, Gips. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We got our stream is like cut off. It shows it's still running, but it's got like a red. There we go. Now it shows That'll it's live work. again. That's better. Yeah. You know, I can see this thing's like turning red and jumping I off and stuff. Oh, I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. Uh, she says she misses you too. Uh, funny. All right. Hey, you know, we're going to have to work. We never had any of these stream issues last week, Cage. So I don't know what's happening that's different today. Huh. But uh, ho- hopefully it's running. It looks like we're up. So I'm going to just go for it. Um, All right. You know, we got we got this awesome guest. Her name's Gypsy Jules, and we're going to get into a bunch of stuff with her here, but I'm going to read my little intro that I wrote. You know, I work hard on these every week. I do a lot of research. You do so. a good job. Huh? Yeah, she yeah. Loses, uh, he loses <laughs> sleep. Me. I do. Yeah. I did. I was up all night writing this one, so here, here it is. Uh-oh. Gypsy's been hunting on the Garrett team with KG and I for years now, and we're looking forward to seeing her again soon at the Charles Garrett Memorial Hunt. Recently, she's been spotted on some TV shows, and she's been rubbing elbows with all kinds of Hollywood types, so she's probably going to be super famous and way too good for us by the end of the year. A talented artist, she likes miniature horses, teddy bears, flying squirrels, rainbows, unicorns, and the color pink. How accurate was that? Um, It's about half. (laughs) It's a good half, at least. Awesome. Oh, boy. That was funny. Uh, You could come up with some crazy stuff. You know, one of my my favorite things that uh, you did, y'all did, was the uh, video where it's the new the new metal detector coming out where they're in their space suits <laughs> oh the robot oh, the robot yeah, suits. The robot one yeah I love yeah that. it's oh. hilarious that is awesome um, yeah I've, i kind of forgot about that it it made a lot of people super angry they're just like oh we thought this was going to be the real thing and they were just like furious you know but <laughs> You know, what can you do about that? So how oh, you been? Well, how you been? How you I've doing? been great. I've I mean, been great. When's, Just, the, uh, when's the last time we did anything? I mean, you know, I was trying to remember. I think the last time I saw you was actually when we were at the SHOT Show in uh, Vegas, was it? I believe well, I know it was. I, I think know so. that's the last time I saw um, KG. And then after that... Um, you and Carlotta and I and and uh, our friends from Aussie. Yeah, yeah, Aussie that friends. was it. Yeah, yeah, we hung out for a week. And that was just, that was 2020, wasn't it? Yeah, because it was, yeah, we still yeah, did the shot show. Yeah, January. Yeah. That's it was cool. January. You guys, did you guys go to any shows down there, Ringy? Which one? In Vegas? Well, you were... Yeah, when you guys <laughs> made, did you go uh, to might any have, shows? Might have gone to a couple shows. Yeah. I, I don't think I went this year. <laughs> Last year, I think we we saw Last Santana. Year. I remember seeing Santana. That was two <laughs> years ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know. There were a couple shows we might have hopped in, poked our heads in, and yeah, know, yeah, maybe had maybe. a look around. All right. <laughs> All right. Anyway. What happens in Vegas? Yeah. What yeah. Exactly. In Vegas. Right. What else? Do you yeah, you got anything yeah. for Cage? We got no. People. I'm just good seeing Gypsy again. I know she's busy. She's got a lot of irons in the fire right now, and uh, anybody that gets her on their show is very lucky. She's Absolutely, one of hey. the sweetest people I know. You know, so she deserves whatever goodness comes her way. Yeah, going to win some serious brownie that's points with her. Super nice, KG. <laughs> I I can't believe that. It's just phenomenal man it's making me blush yeah, I don't, yeah. and I, if i would have read that off a script i wouldn't be able to say it i would have been going bit, bit, bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we got a lot of questions for you but before we get to that let's let's show a couple things here and maybe you can talk us through some of this you'll see it come up on your screen um there's a little intro thing here and and maybe you can you can talk right through this and see you know tell us what was happening Uh-oh. here this is like this is the freddie dodge mine rescue show oh okay yeah it looks like you're all right yeah Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's it i was just just a few shots and i mean can you explain what's going on there did that one aired already didn't it so 
so that one aired already and it aired on discovery plus and uh freddie called me a few days ago and gave me the news that that show has been moved over not just for discovery plus but on discovery channel as well oh cool so from what i yeah from what i understand uh they are finishing up the season they'll send out one more episode until the season ends um of the new episodes that haven't aired yet on discovery and then after that they'll start showing the rest of the episodes which that was uh episode four that i was that's in. awesome yeah that is awesome cool. so can people still see that is it out there anywhere like where yeah, you can live so, stream it or anything yeah they can uh live stream it um on discovery plus oh okay um, i know a lot of people have been yeah a lot of people have been kind of going oh well i don't want to pay extra for a new thing but it's just like the new other shows that come out like uh what is it hbo max oh, yeah any you know, of them yeah. or yeah. the mandalorian or whatever it you is know. that they're people want to just go and watch whenever they want to watch it yeah yeah okay cool right well, that's awesome so they can go yeah on discovery plus and and stream it whenever um i think there's a few people that have taken clips from it and added it to um uh some youtube uh, youtube uh channels so you can probably uh Oh, go watch a little YouTube. pirated version of it or something. Yeah, yeah. well, probably <laughs> a, a portion of the show. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had so. when Diggers was running, they had all kinds of them. They they like reverse image them, like the mirror image them, and then put them. They were in like thirty three different languages, and like none of them wow. were were like officially put out by Nat Geo. It was like people were just pirating <laughs> it all over the place. Right, pirating. Yeah, right. I'm not. Not smart enough to do that. Um, well, no, so, I mean, it wasn't <laughs> us doing it. No, no, <laughs> I don't no, think I we're smart enough to do it either. I bet you are. I bet you are. But uh, um, it was funny. A uh, friend sent me one that they had, uh, another friend that had, I guess, done that. And I'm like, wow, I, I don't know how you did it, but yeah without getting in trouble you know with copyrights and stuff. exactly yeah, that's funny because all of our shows are on youtube the diggers shows and we yeah. have zero access to any of the stuff i don't know where people get it and put it on there it'd be kind of nice if we could do that but i guess yeah you know we're not you know nice enough or something <laughs> or didn't pay enough <laughs> <laughs> that might be it <laughs> all right now who's this who's this with you out here oh boy that's Jace. He's a really cool guy. Jace Roberts. I mean, a lot of you probably recognize him. Uh, Jace Robertson from uh, Doug Dynasty. Ah, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, I think, been metal detecting for a little over a year now. And, awesome. And uh, he, he's, um, well, I know that I, I never really watched the show very much. My oldest son um, had I watched a few episodes with with him, so I'm familiar enough with the show, and uh, it was a uh, fun getting to know him. He's a really nice guy, really sweet. Um, he kind of gets off to himself and and digs, and then when he finally finds, he'll kind of holler at you, "Hey, gypsy!" Or <laughs> you know. So it looks like you guys yeah, found some pretty cool. cool stuff. Yeah, we did. Uh, so we made it with uh, more, you know, for. Um, right metal detectors yeah i know steve-o and um Miguel, mig yeah mig and, was there uh, yeah and brian was there for videoing and stuff so uh yeah we had a, a great time met up with him and and a few other uh, call him bobby bone y'all know bobby um bobby yeah he lives a texan yeah yeah, yeah, yeah for sure texan. good yeah good we dude. know him really sweet guy and uh yeah he bobby was there and he arranged boy they cooked this ham and uh they brought all this huge feast for us really so we wow. took a break in the middle of the day and 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 went and ate and it was great nice i was we actually to supposed work. to go i was actually supposed to go down there with you guys steve i think wanted me to drive like 20 hours one way to go down there and i'm like <laughs> i'm i'm not gonna drive that far no yeah, no, yeah but... he had he had uh, told me that he was going to 
to try to get you to go and he's like ah it's a long drive so yeah. i don't blame you next time uh, i'll be there with you guys next time yeah this year with covid going on uh, there hasn't been you know we all haven't gotten to get together much but the yeah. few digs that i've gotten to go on um been you know mostly just driving except for my little trip to florida and i understand you are getting to go to florida again soon right right we so do get to go there it's gonna be gonna be a lot of fun it's it's for a good cause and we're we're excited to go right cage right yeah yeah so yeah so um this last time was in mississippi and uh met up with um mig digs and Y'all know oh, that yeah. crazy guy. Ah, uh, we know Mig. Yeah, yeah Mig. Mig well. Mig well. <laughs> there he is, right there with you guys. Yeah. There he is, and oh, Stevo. Yeah. Y'all know yeah. Stevo. Good. Old yeah, he was Steve-o, on last yeah. week. You know, we had a. And yeah, y'all. Did we y'all had a, have fun last week. Yeah, we had a really good time last week, and we were talking about <laughs> fines. Everything went fine, and now, of course, you come on, and we get knocked off line five times, and you know. Yeah. Uh, we're going to yep. make it through. We'll make it through. You know why? It's because nobody really logged on to see Tim. But when Gyps was on here, we had a whole oh, load of people yeah, trying Steve. to watch. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I think we lost <laughs> with, that with him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. But yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. We kind of tromped through the mud. And I, I made my last video. Um, Mississippi mud pies because that's what I felt like we were making as mud pies the whole time. Oh yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, KG was gonna try to come and join us, but uh, it was a little too far for you to drive, wasn't it? Oh, right, that's a right. Bummer. I mean, yeah. even even if I would have even if I would have flown to Texas, I would have still had a five hour one way drive to get to where they were. So yeah, and it's, you know, it would have been like probably seventeen hour drive for me. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it would have been worth it to go see Gyps and the Duck Dynasty guy, you know, but, you know, what next time, next yeah. time, Gyps. Next time for sure. All right, Cage, you know, we got a bunch of questions that people wrote in this week for Gyps, so we got to ask. We got to ask some scared. of these. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, ask away. Well, Rich S. wants to know, is Gypsy Jules your real name? And if not, <laughs> how did you decide on that name? <laughs> oh, gosh. I get that a lot. I just, when, uh. I, when, I, <laughs> when I formed my YouTube uh, channel, um, I didn't really want to use my real name. So I yeah. just went with my nick, nickname, you know, kind of like we've got Ringy and KG and everybody's kind of got some people have a nickname you know right so, on yeah um the nickname we yeah, actually kind of came about i think most of you know i used to uh, cone a resale store and it was called eclectic gypsies i was one of the gypsies so i'm the texas gypsy wander all over texas and who knows where else yeah yeah <laughs> So yep, the gypsies are everywhere. So yeah. Yeah. Right? They're everywhere. You can so yeah. Love traveling uh with metal detector anywhere. It's That's just awesome. About, so and then, yeah, yeah, wait. Sorry, we I'll have be, one from Richard. Richard K wanted to know is yeah. she always as happy in her videos? Uh is she is she that happy in real life? So Yeah. I try, I try to be, you know. Y'all hung out with me enough. No, nah, she's really depressing and horrible Screams. as a person. Yeah. That's that's and for sure. Got, yeah. I always whining. Bruises. We go out on the road and she's always whining and crying and <laughs> there's all yeah. always this drama and you know throws throwing things at yeah, us. Yeah, she's always like, yeah. You purposefully. guys are washed up. Get behind me. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, nothing know, like that. I think the first time I met y'all I was at the Charles Garrett hunt and uh, I don't remember oh, which yeah. hunt that was it's three or four years I guess it's been about four years yeah ago, it's now. been a four while five yep. years. and uh yeah I was throwing stuff at uh I think KG when we were <laughs> we were throwing mud mud, mud ball at each fight. Other. <laughs> yeah <laughs> funny yep yeah 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 first first time I met y'all it was it was uh it was funny. I got there to the hunt and y'all come up and you're putting like 
beads around my neck and your um <laughs> are you sure you weren't thinking of new orleans <laughs> yeah i don't remember that <laughs> you don't remember that and y'all were giving me all these lovely gold tokens oh yeah 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 and uh it was a lot of fun and every time i turned around one of you were pulling the prank well hey let's let's run through a few of these things now i mean all right last last week you know, we showed some stuff like like this, you know, and we were talking about all these belt plates that, that we found. And and uh, Steve Moore, of course, you know, everybody knows he found this one. We saw that on there. But they were saying, well, yeah. hey, we didn't get to see any pictures of the other ones. And there's KG's beautiful one right there. Ooh. And then From Montana. Yeah, that one came out of Montana. Really? Yeah, and then yeah, that one beautiful. came out of oh. Kentucky. That one. Yep. Came out of eBay. Yeah, that one I bought <laughs> off of eBay. And... I, I bet you did. I bet you did. Yeah. yeah. And then, so. Man, I, I want to see us buckles so bad. Oh, oh it, it's so cool. I, I loved it. But uh, also, can you walk us through some of these things? Now, there's a bunch of stuff sure. you found here, and I don't know what this thing is here you're holding up. <laughs> <laughs> that one wasn't much of anything. That was, I think, it turned out to be a, a compact lid. Yeah. Right there. Oh, you yeah. Know, one of those weird things. Yeah. Uh, that's just a re I really like the shape of this buckle here. I found it uh, this year. Well, it's now last year. Sorry, 20. The dreaded year, the COVID oh, year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the COVID buckle. That's pretty cool, the though. COVID, we'll call that the COVID pointy triangular shape. Or the 19. We'll call it the 19. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you got, you got. Oh, yeah. Here's That's one. a nice Civil War bullet. Yeah, this one made oh, me yeah. jealous. Yeah. Now, that one made my, uh, made my year there. That's, we yeah. won't talk about how old I am, but yeah, I found that gold <laughs> ring and, and, um, my birthday oh this one here oh that okay one, yeah yeah it was my birthday in florida and then I you got a pile of rings here got a pile of rings there i think the white one is white gold and the other two are like one's tungsten uh, i think yeah i think the other little gold one it's i i couldn't find a marking so it may be yeah. junk you know how that goes sometimes right and then you know speaking of all the belt plates and stuff oh yeah, yeah. that's my one and only my one and only my yeah one. that thing is really cool looking that's awesome i have that. one of those tim uh do you have a picture of the one you found uh here's oh, here's the this is the right. one you, you found okay oh, oh, hey, man, I, like yours hey better. I did find one but i don't have a picture of it here yeah. honestly it's not yeah, exactly like those. It's a. It yeah. was more of an 1871 one. But here's right. here's this is cool. What's this, Gyps? So I thought it was Civil War. I uh, found out. I think it was a little later. Yeah. Um, but it was attached to a bayonet, and um, I had found pictures online of how it was attached, but. It, it's a leather piece that was attached to a bayonet. And I actually found that when I was living in Galveston, Texas. Oh, that and, is way uh, cool. I was hunting like at two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I had a friend that um, I'd gotten into metal detecting. And the only time she could go out digging was when her husband could watch her little kids, you know? And yeah. so we would, we would get out like at one or two in the morning and go digging and they had torn down this old building in Galveston and I think that's why the leather is preserved oh, so well. Oh yeah. Is, is there was a building on the and they tore that building down and that the only thing that you know how we're digging at night and there is a little scratch on that. And my friend, I hand it to her and she takes her shovel and goes, oh, trying to scrape the dirt off. No. There's like a little scratch, you know, when people, we've all, you know. Yeah, and, everybody's and done that. Yeah, heck, I do that once a year. Yeah. Uh, what's I do this? It my own finds. But, yeah. So oh, yeah. No. That is now phenomenal. That, uh, it was really cool. So I found that in Florida. And, you know, the little, the little bridges that pass over that you cross over from like the um 
like the streets on down to some of the public beaches. Right, right, um, right, right, right. Well, there's some old houses in between, in between there and at the condominium thing. Well, it's not a condominium. It's it's a what do you call it a uh, we'll call it a beach condominium. Right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Timeshare. That's the word I'm yeah, looking for. Yeah. So uh, staying at the timeshare. And um, anyway, I had noticed there's this little beach strip where you walk over to the bridge and I was uh, to go to the public beach. And I thought, hey, you know, people park their bikes there. So I went in there and there was a ton of nails. So I'm wondering if there was a house that used to be in there. Um, but I think this was more of a recent yeah when i found it because it came out of the sand right that shiny. is it silver so it is silver yeah um, that's cool i zoomed in and i've got some close-ups of the markings and stuff on that but i was super happy that's yeah. not really that so is what cool. is that I, I mean what did it turn out to be oh gosh now i can't even remember it's I, an air I air was, force uh it is wings, an air force it? it is uh but there's a certain uh you had to fly some certain thing to receive that so there's not as many of that particular one uh, um, well, i was in florida at the time and i posted it on social media and then i had a friend did all the research for me oh and she sent yeah me back, sent it back to me and, well uh, here while i was there here's another what good one got? look at that baby oh man yeah i was in shock when i found that and too bad that the um the trigger guard there is bent. Oh yeah. But uh, yours is the one that you found is not bent. I don't think. Oh no, this one it's a no. bent a little tiny bit, but not much. Now what I think is the area I was hunting in um, is not all too far from an old Civil War fort. My guess is there were some old houses in this area, and you could tell where they probably bulldozed some of this area. There were some big piles of, you know, dirt. Yeah. And it wasn't yeah. far from one of the big piles. So I'm wondering that when they were bulldozing that that might have caught Oh, that. you know, I bet they, I bet that's that the only happen. thing I can figure for it to be bent. Back yeah. Because that's solid brass, you know, the, no, that no. definitely. I, yeah. I think somebody was pistol whipped vigorously with that. <laughs> Hey, uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, yeah, that sounds woo, way cooler. It sure does. I think KG was it, it with does me. Make a better story now. You, you know, yeah. if, if if I was KG or Ringy, you know, I'd come up with this super fantastic story off the fly. You know? Right. They're all true though. They're, we 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 never told any lies, did we? Ringy? Uh, never, yeah. never. In fact, <laughs> I remember KG, you were with me on when I found all three of these guns. And that yeah. middle one, I remember we never said anything unusual at all when we filmed that scene. <laughs> I, I, I just remember that, you know, completely accurate historical story about that, that middle <laughs> gun. Yeah, right. I can, I can only imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that was about uh, it. I, what else we got here that you had? Those are sweet. Is there anything else you said? Oh, hey, I know what I wanted to ask you about. This right here. You're not just a metal detectorist, are you? I do uh, paint. Yeah, I do paint. That one is just a little, uh, somebody had asked me to do a um, picture of a river and a guy gold prospecting. So uh, yeah, that's cool. I just put that one together. It's it's a different style. I'm, I'm more into realism. Yeah, um, yeah. Painting, you know, portraits and, and realism, but I still uh, do some some of that type of art as well so. yeah kg one of these days you and i are gonna have to like draw a picture after we have like your brother on and like everybody we know <laughs> like kg's daughter kg's brother my <laughs> wife you gyps everybody draws all this awesome stuff and then like george and i we'll have to have a, like a draw off or something yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll have like we'll have like an hour time and then we'll we'll say okay what do you want us to draw and then we'll draw it and then the winner like the other one ought to like suffer somehow yeah we'll put we'll put both of the drawings up for everybody to judge and whoever yeah whoever gets the most votes wins and the loser yeah but we won't tell them who drew what yeah that's good we won't yeah we won't yeah. show who did what that's a good idea uh, who stick figure who stick figure is the best. <laughs> exactly 
I like that idea. Teasing. I think that's I'm pretty good. That that's a good idea. That'd be a lot of fun. All right, now I'd while like we got you that. trapped here. Do you want to hang around and help us answer some of our awesome advice stuff? Because we got a bunch of questions, sure. and maybe if you hang sure. around, we could do that. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna play yeah. this little advice segment thing here. So hold Uh-oh. on a sec. KG and Ringy's awesome advice. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got here? We got a bunch of questions here. One one of them, this one isn't so much a, well, it is a question, but let me do this one real quick. Um, Is there a way you guys can go over or define your digging terminology, like in the POC and sieve? I know what some of those are, but I'm sure some people don't. It would be cool to have a digger's dictionary on your terms. (laughs) That was sent in by Kyle. And I, I know that a long time ago when we did that very first book, Cage, remember? Yep. Uh, This one here. In the back, there is like a little glossary of terms and stuff. And I think it oh, has like sir, sieve and SC was for a St. Christopher medal and all that. But I don't think we had, yeah, it definitely needs updating. But there was yeah, G. Yeah, we had G rev. was in there. Yeah, rev, rev and G for gold. Nectar, juice, roundness in the hole. Yeah. I see them all over now, so I guess that's uh, that's just gonna stick with everybody. Yeah, well, unfortunately, yeah, right. But that's awesome, but yeah, we we kind of do in the back of the old treasure hunting with Team ATC book that was uh, printed in two thousand eight, I think. But uh, wow. yeah, it's a good idea. Maybe one of these days we'll have to update it. But like, yeah, y'all might have to update it. What other new ones do y'all have? Can you uh, think what- of any? Oh, that aren't on that list. Yeah, there was a, a bunch. Lot. A lot of the ones KG said never made it into the book. Nectar did, but I don't think, like, I don't know. Maybe Roundness did. I'd have to look it up. But <laughs> I don't know if ju- yep. Juice made it or Ornateness juice. or any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say Ornate. Or, I can't even say it now. <laughs> Ornateness. Yeah. I'm gonna make a new one. Yeah, you'll have to have your own dictionary, the gyps. Oh, the gosh. gypsonary. Yeah. But, I will say that when I'm out digging, I can't help but sometimes, you know, when I'm dropping it in my pouch, you know, so you know, <laughs> in the park, in the park. In the park. In the park. It's hard not to say nectar. that. The nectar sector. Yeah. But you know what's cool is to think that you guys, uh, look at the influence y'all have had on the metal detecting community and those that are still, you know, that aren't into metal detecting, but then maybe later get into metal detecting. And those little, that terminology, you know, it's it sticks. And they remember that. Yeah. Yep. I, mean, it's really I heard cool. him. I heard him say uh, "roundness in the hole" on Oak Island uh, one day. Oh, Did that's they? so funny! <laughs> uh, yeah. I also noticed that they were using a Garrett pinpointer, and one of their it was on the table. They had a Garrett pinpointer right there on the table in one of the photos. <laughs> Somebody's going to get fired there. over that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, maybe you guys can oh. help on this one too. Why do coins sometimes ring up differently than normal? For example, on my Garrett machine, a copper penny almost always rings up as an 80. Yeah, like an 82 for me for a memorial penny. In the past couple of weeks, I've had a I've had copper pennies ring up as a 90, sometimes higher. I always rechecked the hole and did not have additional signals there. That was from GTL. And I was just thinking, you know, like the halo you know, if it's been in the ground a while, you get a little metal halo and maybe maybe it's sitting funny or something, but I don't really know why it would ring as a 90, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have any ideas on that one or not. Uh, and I have no idea why it would ring a 90, even if even if it leached out into the soil a little bit. I've never had a 90 unless they're using an international model. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know. It could possibly have something to do with the type of soil that they're digging in if, if that if they only dig in a certain area that they live in and, and they don't, you know, soil can make a difference on the way it rings up, I guess, as well. Right, right. right. Yeah, I definitely have had some some weird sounds before, you know, and who knows what it is. There could be something else that you didn't see in the soil or whatever, right. you know. 
True. or way down deep or whatever. But yeah, it's kind of a good question. Maybe somebody will post a different answer for us once we get this finally published since it's not live. <laughs> <laughs> what else, Cage? What else we got? What did the buckle ring as on the Max? Somebody wanted to know, Cage. Mario L wanted to know. Uh, like when you... my, my, my U.S. buckle? Yeah, yeah. I think I, so. I didn't find it with the Max. I found it with the... With the uh, Pro, the I think. Pro. Did oh, I find yeah. it with the, with the Gold or the Pro? The AT Gold, I believe I found it. I think so, yeah. But, I mean, in, anyway, it should ring really high. I mean, that's a massive piece of, you know, of I, not iron, but uh, brass. So it probably rang up 90. I don't I don't know exactly because it think. was so long ago. It yeah. was so long ago. that, But it would have been a super high number but just because it's massive. It would have been like a pop can hitting a pop can exactly I, I think i answered it online or something and said it would have been like hitting a beer can except real solid you know you know not yeah. warbly you know but man that uh all of those you know especially with that lead backing in it because yours was full of lead still i think in the back right it was all perfect right right yeah right. well there was a picture of it right there yeah and yeah it had to and sound I'm, I'm always thinking of i'm always thinking of uh pop you know because you always Pop go right can. to the beer. No, right to I the don't. beer. I don't do that at all. You do too. Mm. I would never go to the beer. Have you all ever detected in Arkansas? I I don't know. I've drove through Arkansas a few times going to Mississippi, but I've yet to be in Arkansas. And Dick, I don't. I'm I'm pretty sure we never. I don't. I don't think we did. I mean, we did shows all around it: Georgia, um, you know, Mississippi. Louisiana, yep. all of those, but Arkansas, I, I don't know if we did, it was on the digger show. If not, then no. Yeah. Yeah. Missouri. Sure. I've been in Missouri a lot, but we need about, to go there. That's a bucket list or state for, for us sure. Now. For sure. What about you, Gyps, Arkansas? I remember digging in Arkansas. Now I did drive through some of Arkansas when I went up to Mississippi. Um, but I actually lived in, uh, went to college in at Texarkana for a while. So, uh, but I wasn't detecting then. It was a long time ago. I don't recall detecting in Arkansas. Just uh, did some diamond digging there at the diamond mine. Nice. <laughs> well, many, many years ago. I'm sure that's more than Justin C. wanted to know about that. How about right? <laughs> a, a gold coin BDI? I, I mean, he was, somebody was asking, uh, or Celeste was asking, uh, what is the gold coin ring up as? And if, <laughs> If she was asking about the dollar gold coin we found in New Orleans, that's a dead on fifty, I think, wasn't it, Cage? Yeah, it was, and it's a low tone on our uh, on our. I, don't even, I think we had an AT gold then, but it yeah, was a low mid tone, tone mid tone, yeah, yeah kind of like a lead almost sound, but it was a fifty, I believe. Yeah. It was a really small, small coin. Right. I think a bigger gold coin might ring up a little higher, but I'm not sure because I've never found one. Yeah. Well, I can tell you what it sounds like since I have found a bigger gold coin. Um, it was Celtic, the Celtic coins don't count. <laughs> yeah, actually, that, since that was a gold silver mix, it doesn't count because it's no. it would it rang fairly. It was like kind of like a bullet, really. But um, what else we got? Uh, have we ever found any brothel tokens? Ooh. I know we found a ton of tokens, but I don't think we found any brothel tokens. Dale wanted no, to No, but we did find tokens close to where there was a brothel. Yeah. Red Light District, remember? Yeah, they might have been used in, in the uh, brothel, but... I'm sure they were. <laughs> yeah, for Probably sure. Probably were buying some candy. Yeah, some fell out of my pocket, I remember, when I was up there <laughs> shopping. Some ATC ones. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get very far that night on those ATC tokens. Uh, so, Cage, what's the first silver coin you ever found? Donnie B. Oh, I, I was with you. You know that one. I do. We, and, oh, yeah, man, we it made me so jealous. down there. Yeah. Just started, just started metal detecting. We hiked down to this old homestead in Montana, and we detected for about two hours. And then I dug up a barber dime from, what was it, 1904 or 1906? Mm -hmm. Neither. 1909. That's how bad it hurt me. Oh. I remember the date exactly. Yeah, 1909. Okay, 1909. So yeah. and I was like amazed. It was like 
I couldn't believe that something had laid out there that long and was that pretty. Yeah. 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 And all the way back, like a two hour drive back, I just kept holding it in front of Tim's face and he's like crying. Oh, and tearing hurt up. me so bad. <laughs> well, Good thing I was boy. driving. Otherwise you would have ran into a tree. <laughs> That's true. That's a, the only thing worse than that was listening to you clink those two silver dollars together that you found in the same right next to the same tree that made me almost throw up, but yep. so one more here. Um, Susan B wants to know if like when you swap coils out, you have to do a factory reset? And I know no. I never think of it and I never do it. And I don't have any issues. I don't know about you gyps, but never have. Yeah. I don't ever do it, but it certainly isn't going to hurt anything. It's just that if you have right. custom settings or whatever, you're going to have to go reset them or something, but I wouldn't just even worry balance. about it. Yeah. Just yeah. ground balance yeah. and go. Right. Nothing to worry about. But I would say no. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm going to say no too. That's my, that's my <laughs> final answer. <laughs> okay. All right. So what do you want to do? We, should we give away these prizes quick? We got like an 1842 silver seated dime and, I don't know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, here, I guess I don't have to look for it. I probably have a picture of it here somewhere. Yep, yep, uh, yep, yep. You want to give you it read away? Off the first, you give off the first one, and I'll give off the second one. All right, okay. So first, we're going to do the – I'll do the silver dime package, and then and then uh, we'll do we'll do it backwards. Should we, or no, you give away the big prize. I'll give away the, the pack of cards or something. So another yeah, awesome I'll little intro. Prize, I'll do the prize, prize pack. You do the other yeah, one. yeah, I'll do the... Here it goes. Fantastic finds. All right, we're going to give away... What do we got here? Some some cards, a little pack of cards yep. for sure. All right. Yeah, this isn't right. the big prize. This is the, oh. this is the find of the week. And here, I got to show you what it oh, is first because cool. it was really cool. Bam, Matthew Carr. Cool. Now, that's you're looking at that's like awesome. five coins, but they're melted together. So they must have been in a fire pit or something. And one of them's a barber dime. And I saw that and I thought, oh, how cool is that? I can definitely Dang. tell that, that the one on top of the barber is it's got to be an Indian. You can see the little spikes. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. But yep. I don't know what the other ones are. But that, that was so cool. I just thought, eh, we got to do that. Yeah, that reminds me of the, like when we were uh, metal detecting. I can't remember where, but uh, you found a big blob of trash and you whipped it at me oh, and hit me in the yeah. back, <laughs> bounced it off the back, and yeah. I didn't realize it. I I picked it up and I was looking at it, and there was like two or three coins melted together, and he thought it was a a hunk of aluminum, and I ended up with I think I ended up with your two three quarters. Coins. It was like a couple oh, of quarters quarter. melted together, yeah. you know. And if you looked at it close, you could see the little edge ridges, you know. But I was yeah, so dumb, yeah. and and then I remember, I remember throwing it at you, and then feeling really bad because I threw it away, and then <laughs> I think I said something on the show like I'm a big fat idiot, which probably isn't the first time I've said that or it's well, been that said about correct. me. <laughs> and then you yeah. know and then you know who else said that about me i think was this dude here oh, remember Joe that McHale. yeah yep. he got a hold of that the and, soup. yeah that was one of the times he was you know giving us grief yeah we, i think we were on there like three times one day i ran down the hill and fell into a <laughs> creek and he he was talking about how i was like on some drug or something. Oh yeah, He's, yeah. He was talking about how you were on drugs and <laughs> and I died. Yeah, <laughs> I know we were on there like four or five times because also we did the. There was one where I was hugging a tree. I think he was making fun of me on that. And then the time when I found the boob coin, you know the the exposed boob coin, and he goes, well, "I think yeah. we see a, an exposed boob right here." <laughs> and there's a picture of me. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, yeah. She's showing you what she got. Yeah. For all. That's right. That's oh. right. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty funny. Oh, all right. So, all right, let's do this. Let's give away the big prize. How about that, Cage? Ready? The big prize. Prize giveaways. Now, cool, now this cool, is just cool. Random. This is for a t-shirt. Yeah, this is a t-shirt, uh, mini ball, uh, 
playing cards, uh, 1842 silver dime, buffalo right. nickel, and DVDs. Set right. DVDs that will definitely need therapy after you watch them. Exactly. They were one of, uh, the first ones. Yeah, so who, they're, they're damaging. Very damaging. There you uh, go. Look at that. Uh, Wade Clark. Wade Clark. Wade Clark is the winner. So, uh, so we kind of got through what we had to get through. Um, is there anything else you guys want to discuss? Gyps, you got anything on the horizon? Is there something like any kind of event schedule or somewhere you want to point people to? Or um, Right now, my schedule, I'm kind of waiting on another film crew for another TV show that I'm supposed to be starting soon. So once I get that date, that's why I haven't really scheduled anything for the new year. Yeah. Um, I was hoping to hunt with y'all in Florida, but, um, unless we film late, if we do film late, maybe I can join y'all. If not, um, who knows when I'll get to see y'all again, but, uh, I've got a short hunt this week. Um, driving up to a place where a friend has recently, uh, got, well, they acquired the, um, property through anyway. Anyway, some newly acquired property. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds shady. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, acquired some property. As long as anyway, you got somewhere to go, it doesn't matter how you get it. All right. So there was an old plantation on this property, and it's a cotton plantation, and there's a creek that runs on the property, and apparently both sides of the Civil War at one time camped on the property so hoping for some sieve and um who knows what else we'll find because it was like six thousand square feet uh some old slave quarters in the back and uh anyway so i'm excited about that I leave sounds good uh, Ringy, i think Ringy and I, uh, we're going yeah down we'll see you there <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, coming to Texas. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess uh, why don't we just send it out? Uh, we didn't even. Oh, did we get a? Yeah, we already got a cat appearance for tonight. I guess CB was in here already. So, <laughs> can I well, say one more thing? Oh, you say yes. whatever you want. All right. Um, one more thing. I'm about to launch a new. Uh, well, a new a website. It will be called gypsydigs.com. So y'all be sure. And in the new, near future, I'll be uh, putting that in my videos, my YouTube videos, the link as well as social media. So be looking for that. It should be very soon. And uh, anyway, just want to What announce was it again? Gypsydigs.com? Gypsydigs.com. Gypsydigs.com. Nice. Awesome. All squeezed together in one word, right? Yep. Try to make right. it simple. Okay. So cool. what other, do you have any other uh, social media avenues you want to shout yeah. out to? So you can find me, of course, on uh, YouTube, Zero Discrimination. Right. Zero um, Discrimination. You can find me on Zero Discrimination on Facebook, uh, a group, or I also have a um, page as well. Uh, under zero discrimination, or you can uh, find me usually in any other social media, Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, now TikTok as well. So Gypsy Jewels on those. Gypsy so Jewels. Just look it up. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that should be just easy enough up. to find. And that we're already, easy. we're already zero discrimination members or whatever, I think on your site as well. Yeah. So yeah, we I get to see all your too. awesome stuff. Yeah. Cool. So, Anything else you want to add in? Uh, nothing I could think of right now. Um, All right. That's about All it. All right. Ooh, we got a last uh, minute cat thing. There's, there's a, CB's coming in to say hi. CB. <laughs> hey, CB. Bye, they're they're saying hi. Know. She says bye. I love Miss you. you. <laughs> love she you says, too. She says she loves you and misses you. Why do I have to be the interpreter? <laughs> 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 that's awesome. Yeah, here. Let's hit this button. Oh, I set that camera up. Look at that. We can look. That's both of us. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Secret. 
secret hidden camera there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's right. kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, none of this stuff works really. Yeah. <laughs> Hope, hopefully this will work. Yeah. Sorry, you have to do editing. Yeah, it doesn't Sorry. matter. Yeah. We'll get it all yeah, put together. Yeah. I got to put it together for YouTube uh, tomorrow anyway, you know, to make it. I have to yeah. do it every week anyway, so no you big deal. You mean to do like a good night all or something real quick? Why don't, we'll, let, right. we'll let Gyps take us out. Let me get this queued up. There we go. All right, you you send us out. All right, guys, it was great hanging with my two favorite diggers, and good to see you again. And remember, you all, you just... <laughs> <laughs> we this love is you. Real well. Yeah, this is working yeah, out great. Love you. Okay. <laughs> that was real good. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Gips. Thanks, thanks for <laughs> thanks for being a guest. Thanks All for right. having me, guys. My two favorite diggers. It was fun hanging with you guys tonight. All right. Remember, just dig it. Just dig it. Yeah. Dig it. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching the Running and Gunning Podcast Show, brought to you by Garrett Metal Detectors and ATC's NX5 Digging Tools. Check the ATC event calendar at anacondatreasure.com for showtimes, and tune in again for another extraordinary program packed with brilliance, insight, and fascinating guests. Wait a minute, am I still talking about this show? Anyway, may silver and gold find its way into your pans and under your coils this week. Nectar in the pot for everybody. KG and Ringy out.